What's up guys? Rough Rooster Knife Sharpening. Hope you guys are doing good this evening. Um, we've got a Smith's Washita here. And I am going to put some grit on this glass and you know it doesn't need flattening but there's a couple little spots in it that that need some attention so we're going to you see what we can do here um <clears throat> first of all before i do this i was wanting to let you guys know i've kind of got crappy light in here right now so um it's not the best that it could be but the videos from here on out are going to be in 4k so you're going to have top-notch uh video resolution to look at um i'm still playing with the uh settings on this camera so <clears throat> we're going to see what kind of better videos we can show you guys Okay, we'll start out with like a tablespoon and a half. That may be a little bit too much. This is <clears throat> granite. Uh, Alex Peterson sent it to me. Uh, he's been hooking me up with a lot of good stuff past year or so. Uh, really good dude, man. I, I wish you'd comment on my videos more, Alex. Maybe you will from now on. But uh, he said he thinks this is around 100, 120 grit. And this stuff cuts like a champ. So without further ado, I'm going to work on it here a little bit. I figured out you don't need a whole lot of water with this stuff, so... I'm sitting on my kitchen counter to give you guys a better light, by the way. That's the reason I'm holding it kind of funny. You can already see a slurry building up there. Be sure to kind of try to get your grit towards the middle. Don't let it fall off on your sides or whatever you're using. This is just how I do it. You guys may have a different method, but... Be sure to flip your stone occasionally too. This is really good stuff. This is, like I said, this is not silicon carbide. This is a granite. And it uh, it doesn't break down super quick, I don't think, but it does break down and you can get a finer finish with it on the surface, surface of the stone.
see how this stone's looking. There's still a little bit of a dished spot right there. I don't know why. Check it out again. Still got a little, little bit of a dish right there. That's a beautiful stone. Put a little bit more grit down here. this that you're seeing right here is slurry from the stone um, you could if you're running on a budget with sharpening you could take some of this here and apply it to a strop and it may not be the best thing in the world but it will cut uh, it'll help strop it it's actually an abrasive And you can hear right here um, how much or how different the sound is. Um, this granite powder is starting to break down. And what you see me putting over here is where it's coming off the back of the, where the slurry is coming off the back of the piece of glass. Um, 
this is what's getting pushed off. Some of it's slurry and some of it's still grit. I need to add a little bit more water. Checker stone again. We are just about there. I think just another minute or two and this thing be ready to go to the next grip on this side. Another indicator, how you can tell your stone's good and flat. See how I just done this? Pull up on it. I'm lifting that whole piece of glass. There it goes. I'm lifting that whole piece of glass. That means that it's creating a suction and there is a two flat surfaces meeting. Now, if you guys look back at my previous videos, the little, well, actually I've got it right here. This little Smith's diamond stone, the reason that I use it to rough up the surface of the stone is because it's got that little cut right there in the middle of that little V. And it does not allow a suction because of that V. Smith's makes some really good diamond pocket stones, by the way. This side, let me get on the other side of the camera here. This side has been completely flattened and repaired. This side will be next. There's a little, let's see, where's it at? Little bit of a rough spot right here that needs to be taken out. Nothing bad. We didn't take away too much of stone. This is a half inch stone. Uh, another thing you guys can do if you get really sharp edges on your stone, just turn it sideways like this and start rubbing it around and it will create a little flat spot on the very edge of your stone and prevents chipping. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is granite powder. This is not silicon carbide. Uh, just wanted to post a quick little video and show you guys what I've been up to. You guys have a good evening. Take her easy.